Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you four easy, cheap, or free equal swap ideas that can help save you money and the environment. Now, before we get started, I do want to share a quote with you, and this quote made a significant difference for myself when I did get started into my journey of just living a lower waste lifestyle. And that is, we don't need a thousand people doing zero waste perfectly. We need millions of people doing it imperfectly. This is when we're really going to see the change. I want you guys to remember, this isn't just going to happen overnight, and don't feel the need to have perfection. sharing with you is only going to be able to relate to my ladies so if you are a gentleman I'll put a timestamp right here and you can just go straight to number two but for my ladies we need to start using sustainable period products like menstrual cups and period underwear did you know that the average woman uses about 240 tampons a year or 16,800 tampons in a lifetime that's a bloody lot. Plus, feminine hygiene products are friggin' expensive and taxed. They come in many different fits from high-rise thongs to hipsters. Right now, I'm currently wearing the hipsters and these are so comfortable. I find them reliable, comfortable, and discreet while still staying elegant and sexy. All of their period underwear can hold up to two tampons and some up to four, so there is a pair of panties to go with any type of flow. Like seriously, where were these panties when I was having children years ago? Maybe they existed and I just didn't know about them, but I'm telling all of my mama friends out there that are going to recently become moms or going to be giving birth again, give these a try. Honestly, nothing's worse than walking out of the hospital wearing those mesh panties and those pads that they give you that are so thick you can't even close your legs. There's nothing sexy about that. So with a simple switch, you can save yourself quite a bit of money and the environment. So if you are interested in giving those period panties a go, I will have the link to the company down below if you'd like to go give them a try. This is probably the very first thing that we switched over when we started this whole process and it all happened the day I was walking out of Walmart and I walked out with just toilet paper and paper towel and it cost me almost a hundred dollars. Yes, you heard that right. Almost a hundred dollars. I was mind blown for stuff that we're just going to throw in the garbage. So to save yourself a lot of money and again, the environment, I would recommend even for a month trying to go paperless free in your kitchen. You can simply do this by getting some rags or purchasing just some bar towels. They are really low cost and work great to clean up those messes and it just saves you so much money in the end. There's very little that you can't do with a cloth towel and you'll find that you will need paper towel less and less. Did you ever find that when you don't have it in the house? You never seem to use it, but the moment that is back in the house, you go through a roll within a day or two, or at least that was my experience. But just give it a try, even for a month, and just use some old rags or bar towels, and I bet you, you will love the change. Number three, and that is to use dryer balls instead of fabric sheets and fabric softener. Now you can purchase these on Amazon, you can get them in Walmart, or you can just simply make them yourselves by getting some wool yarn, which I do have a video to, so I will put that right here for you guys if you'd like to go check that out, or also have it linked down below so you can check it out after this video. But dryer wool balls have made a significant difference in our waste. If you think about how often you do a load of laundry and how many dryer sheets you actually use, that is quite a bit of waste, and they're not the cheapest things to be honest. Plus, when you're using those dryer sheets, that is actually going into your clothing and towels. And when you wear your clothing and dry yourself with your towel, you're actually absorbing those chemicals into your skin. So save your health, save the environment, and save yourself some money by purchasing some dryer balls and just give them a try. I honestly think you're going to enjoy them. This one, I know some people might have some ups and down opinions about, and that is to buy bulk concentrated cleaners. That way you're using less packaged waste, even though you are still using the original cleaner that you've always used, and it's not considered to be green, 
you're still making an environmental impact by not contributing to throwing another bottle out every single time you purchase a new cleaner. I honestly feel like you don't always have to buy a green product to make that switch over. Some people can't afford to buy those greener products because they are quite expensive and I know a lot of people just don't like those homemade cleaners. They don't seem to work as good as some of the cleaners that we buy in the stores or just in general they, they're not as good as sanitizing especially with the coronavirus going on right now they want to be using more of a cleaner that's going to actually disinfect so you just buy a one-time bottle which will be good for the year buy a reusable fillable bottle using your original cleaner that you like you can now dilute it and make multiple cleaners for a fraction of the price and use a fraction of the plastic waste as you would if you bought a brand new bottle every single month and then require more packaging so that's the biggest thing is you don't always need to make sure that everything you're doing is considered to be green just think of it as is there some way that I can put less garbage out and if that is simply just buying a bigger bottle of cleaner that is the same cleaner you always purchased that is still making a difference and I want you all to know that Going back to my original quote at the beginning, not my quote, but going back to the original quote that I shared with you guys, we don't need a thousand people doing low waste perfectly. We need millions of people doing it imperfectly. All right, Earth lovers, there you have it. I hope this list inspires you to make some simple, small changes in your life. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I would love to have you guys join me on this little corner of the internet. If you are new here, make sure you say hi in the comments down below so I can welcome you and I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Bye.